once my husband went on a business trip. In those moments, I dedicated all my time to myself. I went to a beauty salon, a spa, had a massage, and went on a big shopping spree. When I returned home, I poured myself a glass of wine and started trying on my new outfits. The wine bottle emptied and my mood improved. I felt so beautiful in my new clothes. Suddenly there was a knock at the door, and I was surprised because it was quite late for guests. When I opened the door, I saw my neighbor standing there. He asked if my husband was home, and when he learned that he wasn't, he began to explain the situation awkwardly and nervously. His wife was at their country home, and on his way back from visiting friends, he had lost his keys, phone, and wallet. It occurred to me that he had also been drinking alcohol that evening. Since we had a good relationship with our neighbors, I invited him in, and for the next half hour we called a taxi, cancelled his credit cards, but couldn't reach his wife. She was supposed to be here tomorrow. We managed to resolve all the pressing issues. The taxi driver promised to return his lost items in the morning. I decided to make him a bed on the living room couch, as I didn't want to throw him out in the rain at night. As I was making the bed, I realized that I was wearing a tight, very short cocktail dress that I had bought earlier that day with the price tag still dangling from it. I stood up and looked around. My neighbor was admiring my long, sun-kissed legs. I felt embarrassed, wished him a good night, and went to sleep in my bedroom, wearing my striped pajamas and making sure to lock the door. As I lay in my soft bed, I realized that I had drunk a lot of wine during the fitting and was quite drunk. My head was spinning. I fell asleep and had a dream the sea, palm trees, white sand, a gentle breeze, a handsome mulatto man swimming naked in the azure water. Then he came up to me and kissed my neck, shoulders and back. It was very exciting. I turned my face toward him and we began to kiss. At some point it became clear that this was not just a dream. I was kissing him. I opened my eyes slightly and saw my neighbor, but then I closed my eyes again and he turned back into the mulatto. We couldn't stop and we didn't want to. The wave of ecstasy was immediately followed by a wave of sobriety. I broke the silence. What the hell? We're neighbors. I went to take a shower. When I came out, my neighbor was asleep in the living room. I felt guilty about what had happened, so I woke him up. He left early in the morning, either to his friends or relatives, and I had to lend him some money because he had lost everything during that crazy night. That's how it goes. Just one night of losses. He lost his money, his phone, his keys, and I lost my dignity as a married woman. A week later, we met at the entrance of the building me with my husband, our neighbor with his wife. We all joked, laughed, and talked about the weather and the upcoming weekend as if nothing had happened. Only the shivering on my back tried to reveal my involvement in the crime, but no one noticed under my dress. My husband stood at a distance and smoked. The intricate smoke rose in the shape of antlers. It was both funny and shameful. My husband, the cuckold, 